Hi everyone, this is Tom Matisse, an executive director here at Camp Timberley. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we sent out a video saying that we were praying and hoping to be able to move forward and have summer camp here at Timberley. Uh, there were some criteria we said that would have to be met, uh, that the, the governments, uh, the local governments, the state governments, the federal government uh, would have to be allowing us to move forward and open camp. Uh, it's with a sad heart that I'm here to say that we are not going to be able to have camp here at Timberley this summer. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of an insight into how we came to that conclusion. It was not easy. It was very difficult. The leadership team and I prayed and met quite a bit and had lots of conversations and tears and uh, even a few arguments on, on how we could move forward. And it really boiled down to, to three key areas that we weren't able to meet. Uh, first of those uh, areas was the uh, PPE equipment. We weren't able to get pieces in place to protect our frontline uh, staff if, in case COVID did come to Timberley. Uh, we needed to have specifically masks for our uh, healthcare workers, for our housekeepers, for our rec department, uh, people who were able to have those masks and able to minister to the to the children and the campers that were coming and we just weren't able to get that equipment here in time or in enough quantity uh, to be able to last throughout the summer. The second area that we weren't able to meet was just the population restriction that we had. Um, the, the state health department for the state of Wisconsin was encouraging us to not go outside of our community or outside of our outside of our uh, county. So we really weren't able to bring in campers outside of Walworth County um, to come to camp till until we got to phase three or beyond. Uh, so even if we were able to get to that 50 uh, person capacity and able to move campers around, if we were to bring someone in outside the community of the county of Walworth and we had an outbreak, then all of a sudden it's a statewide issue both in Wisconsin and wherever that camper was from, they were from a different state. So we weren't able to meet that criteria. And then thirdly, it really boiled down to the testing. Uh, here in Walworth County, currently a, a test is being um, given back to, to the individuals in uh, five to seven days. And what that would mean for us is if we tested a camper on a Wednesday, if they showed any kind of of symptoms towards COVID, any at all, we would have to test them and quarantine them. We wouldn't get that test back if it was done on a Wednesday till probably the following Tuesday. And at that point, we would have had to either send the camper home based on uh, false information or not accurate information, uh, possibly their entire um, cabin or possibly even their entire village. So we would have to send them home based on information that we wouldn't have. Uh, also, the uh, local Walworth County Health Department would then uh, have the ability to come in and shut us down for a whole nother week so we could possibly lose two weeks on information that we were not sure was accurate. So because of those uh, reasons, we have chosen not to hold summer camp this year. As I said, it was a hard decision, but uh, what we want everyone to know and what we are, are praying through is that we're here for the long-term ministry of Timberley. Uh, we certainly are saddened just like you are. Uh, everyone here wants to have campers here just as badly as you want to be here and you are disappointed. We are disappointed not to be able to bring campers here, but we want to be able to minister five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years down the road and uh, have that being a calling. So we want to think long term. So I guess that leaves what that leaves for you. Um, first of all, we're asking you to please pray for us. Uh, pray for our summer. Pray for what we need to be doing here, uh, what God has to teach us, what God has for us to do during this season. Uh, we're looking forward to the fall when people are back here on camp. Uh, our medical director is uh, telling us that in his opinion that it looks like we'll be able to have fall activities. So we're looking forward to that. But be praying for us now as we have difficult decisions and difficult um, piece of information to wade through uh, for this summer. So be in prayer for that. Uh, second of all, if God has laid it upon your heart and you are able, uh, we would ask you to donate to Timberley and support support us in this time. Right now, um, usually during spring and summer, we have almost 40% of our revenue come in for the year. So uh, we are taking a big hit on a big revenue loss 
right now. So if you are able and God's laid it on your heart, we would uh, welcome you uh, to be donating to us at this time. So I'd like to close this video with uh, the verses that I read to our ministry staff here at Timberley on Friday when we made this announcement to them. It comes from Psalm 27, it's verses 13 and 14. And before I get to that, I'll tell you what I told them. Uh, I often go to Psalms, um, to the Psalms. It's the prayer book of the Bible. And when we're in times of distress, when we're in times of mourning, when we're in times of grief, when we're in times of happiness, the Psalms can lead us uh, in our hearts. So I'd like to close this video with these two verses from Psalm 27. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Thank you, everybody, for your, your continued commitment and love of Timberlake.